Hello. How do you tell the difference between Chinese and Japanese porcelain? They are made often in the same style. Often Japanese pieces are made for the Chinese market or Chinese pieces are made for the Japanese market. It's quite hard to tell them apart. These are both uh, in a pattern called Amari. So that is underglazed blue with uh, red overglazed painting, sometimes with gold, sometimes with green. And the gold is mainly worn off. So they're both of roughly the same date, both mid 18th century, but one is Chinese, one is Japanese. How do you tell the difference? Well, first of all, the glaze on Japanese pieces tends to be a bit thicker, which means that this cobalt blue is a bit more smoky, a bit more blurred. And they also tend to be heavier potted as well. This one it weighs a ton, whereas this one is much lighter. But the real way is to turn them over. You've probably seen lots of people on television turning pots over. We do it for a good reason. Now, the foot of the Japanese piece, when I look at it, uh, the glaze has been wiped away. The glaze is quite thick, but it's simply been wiped away and it's all kind of uneven around the bottom. If I turn to the Chinese piece, the foot room has been cut at an angle, which you can actually feel when you run your finger down or feel when you run around, cut clean with a knife so the glaze runs round in a perfectly clear straight ring. That's the easy way to tell.